Zip lines and ground and make travel fast and easy, and can also help you transport building materials long distances quickly. In the multiplayer world I play with my kids, we set up zip lines from our main base to the oak tree and back, as well as one that crosses the koi pond. This made getting to and returning from Burgle extremely easy. In fact, I didn't realize just how much easier it made the game until I started a fresh save after the hot and hazy update. In this video, I'm going to tell you why I stopped building zip lines and grounded. My intent is not to convince you to do the same, but after hearing what I have to say, you might think about it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so now and turn on notifications to never miss any future videos. Let's get started. Of all the topics I've covered regarding Grounded, this one is likely to be the most controversial. I know that most players love zip lines and build them all over the backyard. In fact, I usually get asked every time I stream Grounded here on my YouTube channel when I'm going to build zip lines on my new solo world. My answer is always never, and it often surprises the person that asked. I too once relied on them and didn't think twice about using them to travel back and forth across the backyard. Like you, I liked avoiding the random wandering wolf spiders or having to deal with annoying lawn mites and larvae. I also like saving time traveling to and from Burgle to get the three daily quests, and it did make building our museum much easier. When I started my fresh save after the hot and hazy update, I considered unlocking zip lines pretty early on since I had become accustomed to using them. Fortunately, I held off, and after not using them for most of my playthrough, I realized the game is just more fun and challenging without them. Before you hit the dislike button and close the video, hear me out. I equate zip lines and grounded to portals in Valheim. If you haven't played Valheim, it's a Viking themed survival game that has a fast travel system using portals. You can get access to the portals pretty early on, and they definitely make traveling easier, but they do have one limitation. You cannot transport ores through them, which are needed to craft most of the items in the game. The first time I played through the game with a friend, we bypassed this limitation using a cheesy method, and it made progression much easier, but after finishing the game, I felt like I cheated myself out of the full experience. So we started the second playthrough, and we still used portals, but not for transporting ores. This made the game much more enjoyable and difficult. On our third and final playthrough to this point, we didn't use portals at all, and it was a hardcore rule, so death meant deleting our characters. This was by far the best experience. Every adventure out into the world was a risk, every choice mattered, every time I ventured out to gather resources and returned home safely was rewarding. Playing grounded without building zip lines provides a similar experience. Traveling to Burgle to get daily quests means possibly having to face a wolf spider on the way. Heading to the hedge to get berry chunks means traveling past a couple of wolf spiders as well as some ore weavers and bombardier beetles. Gathering grass planks and weed stems and transporting them to your location near base on foot is much more dangerous than sending them via zip lines. Basically, zip lines make grounded far easier. Sure, they are convenient and save time traveling from one place to another, but they make an already easy game even easier. I've said this many times before, and I'll repeat it once more. The difficulty curve in grounded is front loaded. That means it's hard for the first couple of hours, but once you get decent gear, it becomes easy. And when you are eventually able to craft the best weapons and armors, you transform into an unstoppable force capable of exterminating every insect across your path. I believe there are two main reasons why people love using zip lines. The first is to avoid as many fights as possible. I too did this before the hot and hazy update, but now that we have stronger weapons, I rarely back down from a fight. If you are wielding a spicy antlion greatsword and using the right mutations, you can kill just about everything in the backyard in six hits or less. I'm sure there will be balance adjustments in the future, but right now combat is trivial once you reach the current endgame. I don't know about you, but I enjoy some level of difficulty in any survival game I play. Right now, Grounded offers a bit of challenge early on, but becomes far too easy much too fast. The second reason I believe people use zip lines is to save time. Zipping across the backyard is much faster than traveling on foot. While this sounds like a positive, it allows you to complete the current content in far less time. I'm at around 130 hours in my new world, and while I've completed all the labs, defeated the assistant manager and broodmother, and crafted all the armor and weapons in the game, I still have a few things left to buy from Burgle. Looking back, I could have easily completed all that in half the time or less if I would have rushed through everything and set up a zipline system to and from my base to the important locations in the backyard. As just one example, I often spend an entire day traveling to Burgle to get three new quests and then completing them and having to repeat the process the next day. If I could zip over to them in under a minute, then zip wherever I needed to complete those quests, I would have half the day left to do other things. Now you could argue that's a positive, and it is in some respects, but it's also a negative because it allows you to do everything so quickly. I recently posted a poll on my community tab asking how often you play Grounded right now. So far, 3,500 votes came in, and 60% or 2,100 of you said you're waiting until the next big update. I can only imagine that number would be much lower if zip lines weren't being built. Like I said in the intro, the goal of this video is to let you know why I stopped building zip lines and Grounded. After hearing what I had to say, will you continue to use them or will you consider starting a fresh game without them? Let me know in the comments down below. 
If you found this video useful, please click the like button and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.